Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today we are going to cover one topic, which is create the report button on any type of an OTBI report in Oracle Fusion. So how we can create the return button? In my last video, I had explained you that how to create the master detail drill down report. Okay. So, but when we are going on to the detail report, there is no chance to come back on the previous master report okay so for that we have to create one button over there so which will give you the chance to come back on the master report also okay so that requirement we are going to achieve in this video so for that i am going to the catalog page of my oracle fusion instance so this is my catalog page of my oracle fusion instance and this is my master report that is an xx customer master report okay and this is my detail report so we are going to use the same master and the detail report in this video also so i'm just opening the master report first so i'm just clicking on open so here you can see the master report on any of the respective customers so if i'm clicking on the 4g technology so it will prompt me the customer detail report if I clicked on that customer detail, it will redirect me on to the detail report. So this is my detail report. But this detail report won't have the chance or won't have any option to go back on the master report other than the browser navigation button. Okay, so what we have to do here, we have to create one return button over here for coming back on the master report. Okay, so for that, what we have to do? This time going back to my catalog page. So we have to add that respective return button on my detail report page. Okay. So for that, what we have to do, just I am going to my detail report. So this is my detail report. I'm just editing my detail report. So here is a graph option. So you can select on this graph option, and then after here is a static text. Okay, so I'm just clicking on that statics text. So you can see that the statics text box is came at the end. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to just edit this. Okay, so here you can write the JavaScript content or the CSS content. Okay, so you can see over here, it contains the JavaScript, HTML as well as the CSS markup language. You can write any code for creating the button. Okay, so you can get easily this code on the Google or I already had written that respective code in the JavaScript. So this is the code for creating the button. Okay, so you can use this code. I will paste this code under my channel description link as well as on my blog also. So you can get this code from there. Okay, so what we have to do here, we have to replace this your report URL. So here we have to give the report url of our master report so what we have to do i'm just going back to the catalog page again and this time i'm just opening this master report so now what i have to do i have to copy whatever the url which is present in my url link so i'm just copying that url and i'm just pasting it over here okay and the same code i'm just selecting the entire thing i'm going back to the my fusion instance and and in other tab i am having the detail report so here so what i will do i will just paste that entire code okay and here is the option to save the changes so i am just clicking on done so after clicking on done also it is showing me the text only so why it is showing me the text so here is the option contain html javascript css markup so we have to check this respective checkbox so as soon as we check this checkbox so it will accept that respective code and it will generate the button so here is my return button okay so i can just click on done again i'm just going down so you can see that there is my button also okay so now what i will do i will just save this respective report and i'm going back to my master report so this is my master report so here i'm just clicking on 4m technologies so here is the customer details. I'm just clicking on the customer detail again. And it will redirect me on the customer detail or the customer site details. See that there is a return button also. So if you click on this return button, so it will redirect me on the 
mean or the master report okay so this is the thing so you can apply the conditions also over here so i'm just going back to my catalog page so on the master report we had created the link okay so here i'm just editing the master report again on this customer name we had created that respective link so i'm just going to the criteria and what i will do i will just uh, go to the setting then here is the column properties and the interaction now i have to edit the same link okay so what i can do i can just edit this link and here is the conditional also so here we can give any type of an condition okay so what type of an condition you have to add on which column you have to add so just click on here and you can give the respective condition there are only two columns customer name and the address so you can give for any of the columns suppose if i give some respect to customer name so it will give me that detail also so that you can try at your own level okay so this is just we are giving one respect to condition okay so if we are using the payables uh, thing and if we are using the invoice related stuff so you can give the, if the invoice amount is greater than 1000 or 1 lakh so show that data on list so this type of an requirement also you can achieve using this conditional link okay so i'm just clicking back on always and just clicking on okay and then again okay okay so by this way we had seen that how to create the return button and how to create the different conditions while creating the link in otbi report please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching